One rapper that might have the craziest backstory is Jay. Cause we didn't see his glow. We didn't see his highest. But nobody wanna speak about the lows, the struggles he had, the fact that he was doing anything ruthless to get his money at a young age. And bro even overdosed at the age of 15. So in this video, I'ma explain Jay's whole backstory. You watch it D-U-T-I-E, let's get started. So on January 10th, 2003, Jace was born. Born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Jay said it himself, he had about like six siblings. And while growing up, Jace had the same hobbies as us, playing video games and listening to rap. And he started off with just listening to like 50, Lil Wayne and Sosa. And as he got older, that's when he started getting more in tune with the undergrads we know today, like Duo Kane, Summers, and etc. But besides the rap and the video games, Jace dealt with the most toxic things at home. He said to himself, it would be arguments every day. It was almost like 60 arguments a year, he said. He couldn't even sleep. Sometimes he'll be up all the way until the morning. And at the age of seven, everything just snapped. Cause Jace's dad decided to leave the house and it created the most insane situations for Jay. Cause all he thought during that time was that, man, I gotta get some money. You know, my dad not around, so he ended up getting in the wrong crowd and when that happened things like getting shot at started happening bad influence and bro even started getting involved with the pill and the thing is his dad was the one that would discipline him you know so when he left things completely changed because his mom didn't really care she didn't care that he was listening to all this bad music and him hanging around the wrong crowd staying outside until late she didn't really want to keep jace in chat and jace already wasn't even going to school he didn't care about it so the minute that freshman year came around he dropped out and when that happened bro became ruthless he started breaking into cars doing drugs he was moving around late at night it was crazy for bro and it got so bad to the point at the age of 15 bro overdosed and it only got worse because he was walking home and made a stop at this bus station he sat down and bro just went unconscious when he woke up he was in an ambulance and i already explained to y'all that jace was in that type of lifestyle during this time so when he woke up in an ambulance they noticed that he had a gun on him and they put him on probation for a year but during this time jace didn't even know that this would save his life at 14 he was already getting shot at he was selling that stuff and bro explained that he even got robbed one time and all these experiences caused bro to have a lot of ptsd and trauma because he was getting chased down a lot he didn't have grown men pointing guns at him just before turning 15 but he said it himself he doesn't complain because he knows what comes with that lifestyle he chose that path and after he overdosed he caught a gun charge but the legal team gave him a little leeway because they noticed that he's young so after five or six months they said that they would let him on probation as long as he go get a job and bro had got a job at mcdonald's and he did not like it at all because the minute he quit McDonald's, his mom had got evicted. And Jace was making music, but wasn't taking it serious during that time. But the minute he got paid his first $75 off of just making a feature, he decided to go all in. And the only reason why the music got serious for Jace is because at 15, he already had a girl for three years. And they both had a kid, and she cheated on Jace. And bro had to take care of his daughter now, so he knew he had to get some money. And he didn't want to sell that stuff no more, so he just locked in with the music. But when he did, it wasn't going to be as good as he thought it was going to be. Because he explained that his family was struggling, they was poor they didn't have money like that so anything big he wanted to get like a computer or a mic or something like that he would have to wait all the way until christmas and one of the first big things that jay's mom bought him was a blue snowball mic so he started flooding the music and he was rapping under the name tge duo and don't forget y'all he was playing a lot of video games during this time but the people he was playing with were people that we know today like ybn amir ybn almighty j and they were all in this same youtube group and while in this group you know jace was doing anything to get some money you know he was just making cover arts and stuff because that's what he like doing at that time and he explained that jay and namir were all older than him they had jobs and stuff already they was already making money and they even had the studio equipment at home but everybody went on their own path and the group just broke apart and jace ended up making more music because that was the way how he coped he explained to himself he just loved ran it on the mic and it felt good down on my ass you ain't give me shit push that nigga you need some manners the whole time jace mom didn't even know that he rapped she didn't like the stuff that he was saying on the mic so she had called him and just started yelling at him because you know jace never vented to his mom he felt like he just couldn't talk to her but it was one day it all just snapped because that argument caused him to vent to her and he explained everything that he'd been going through in life and that she didn't care about him he explained to her that he never had nobody to talk to he just got shot at twice and she just didn't understand anything that he was doing and the arguments just kept getting worse with his mom so it caused him to just leave the house jace went to go live with his baby mama and that kind of took a toll on him because over there he was locked in yo boy let's plastic i'm tired bro was making music every day and it got to a point he changed his name he started getting paid more off his stream and almost every dollar he got he would use that five bands or four bands to just send to his mom and he already had a daughter so that just caused him to grind even more and get more consistent and jace was just gaining more and more offense because he'd talk about his daughter and all his struggles that he was going through if he was gonna spin then he would have did it uh the lyrics on spin catch straight from the trenches baby 
Even if you wasn't going through the same thing that Jace was going through, you still felt the music. But one thing Jace couldn't stay away from was just arguing with other rappers. And it all started in 2020, where him and Isaiah TG had got in an argument over a gamer tag. Not really a gamer tag, but a username, rap name, whatever you want to call it. Because Isaiah just felt like Jace's name was the same as his. But Jace was explaining that he been had his name. They got to a point, they was both arguing on live, and people really found this funny. You can still find this live everywhere on YouTube. All I said was, you need to change your name. Not Nothing you can say can justify you even calling me a clone. My name is Jace. No, I don't ask. And Jace was already making good music during this time, so he kind of got a little exposure off of this. People love his personality. People love that he keep it real. And he was just one ruthless rapper in the underground. Roblox videos, destroy lonely, so fago. Bloggers, meme pages, troll pages, mass reporting. Jonah, you know where we at? Look where he stay. Do this look like the churches? This is literally his house right there, bro. You seen a black guy out here with blue hair? I swear to God. Like, I'm so cap, huh? That's them. But the next year, his music caught the eyes of Can Can and Summer. Cause in 2021, Can Can had texted Jace and told him, yo, bro, we gotta make a song, you are. And they got to a point, Jace got added to this group chat where it's Yeet, Summers, Can Can, a couple Slay War members and stuff. And it was just crazy for Jace because he was working with dudes that he looked up to when he was 15 and 16. And Jace say it all the time, Summers is the one that kind of blew up his career because he was getting more exposure. People didn't want to give his music a chance, but anytime he was around him or him just being affiliated made people want to just tune in a little more and when bro turned 18 at the end of 2021 he signed his first deal with simply stupid i'm not saying that he's stupid i'm talking about the record label y'all the record <laughs> and all this hard work ended up paying off because jace didn't even know that one song was finna catch the eyes of tiktok and that was gonna give him a little spark to his career he was beefing with some dude named twisty p and twisty p was just a meme and one of the people that he dissed was jace and talking about his daughter and jace didn't take that lightly so that same week they found out where twisty p was staying or where he was walking at and caught him in the middle of the street and they laid the hands on him. Boy, you ain't gonna do s. Come here. You talking about help, help. I'm chasing your family. And that same day, Jace went home and recorded a song called Come Here. The song was literally about Twisty P running and telling him to come here. And people just love the way that Jace was rapping on this song because it was different than anything else. It was a raspy voice. He even lost his voice during the song and it caught the eyes of TikTok and just blew up. This was his first song that hit a million plays. So when it comes to music during this time, I can go all day. There were songs blowing up like 556. Five, oh Lord. He don't smell with him. Like it could couldn't stop for bro. But another thing that couldn't stop was the beef. It don't matter who or what you are. Jace would say things like this to rappers that we know of, like Cash Dami, Tana, Slump, Richard Miri, SGP West, Destroy Lonely, Fago. Like it goes all day. Let me just play this. Your logic is that I can be 16 years old, say whatever the fuck I want, throw up blood, and y'all are going to make sure nobody touches me, boy. No, nobody should touch me. I should be able to go around holding my saying fuck this dude, fuck this dude, fuck that dude. Fuck Empire don't even give a fuck about you. You want to bring up record deals? I right, bet. Let's bring up record deals. You've been promoting the same album for who knows how long. Months, months, months. Way too geek. Months. You drop it on SoundCloud, then delete it because you don't like the mix. Bro, shut your ass up. That shit ain't do no fucking numbers. But then you look at me, I dropped Final Fantasy the finale with no label backing. And look at the numbers I did. The fuck is you talking about? You sound a little stupid distribution deal with Empire. I don't give a Jace, you're 5'1", you're about as tall as your daughter. I'll kick you over. You're scared to go to any events. Well, his label bought every song. That f***ing dingling song? I'm not worried about your stupid I gotta go to the f***ing hospital because they think I'm a f***ing crack addict or something. You gotta stop on a crime, nigga. You sit in front of the computer all day. Oh my God, Jace. Man, go get some pussy, Lil Wes. What you want? Amiri, balls, balls. And you think you're going to smack me? What? Richard Amiri. Green tip, five, five, six, oh. I'm, I'm Can Can. Shut up. I'm real double R. Slay world. Fried dress. Fried dress. Fried dress. Fried dress. Fried dress. I'm finna bake that. Oh, God. Kendrian with some fried dress, a lopsided T move in his head. Dummy. Dumb mother. Yeah. Yo, music sucks, kid. I'm sorry, I can't do sh for you. Let's play a Yapo song. Yapo, Jay Z. It's garbage. Put that. Ain't nothing to take a trip. Why he doing all this and talking? Tell yeah, me what I might heard before though. We don't deal with rats. Don't get on here trying to look, bro. Nobody and you in paperwork. Let's go be up again. Name me a beef. I woke up and started. I'll wait. 
Name me a beef I woke up and said, you know what? I am tired of this. Let me diss this man because I'm got f not f going nowhere. Really think before you type that. Slump Sixes was talking about me in a Discord. Rich Amiri was talking about me in a Discord. Xavier So Bass produced a song where he throw my b in the trash and said it was hard and publicly played it. Double R started it with me, so you bringing up Summers is insane. Keep naming them. Keep naming them. I can tell you exactly how they started. Keep naming them. You started it over Xavier. He made a song where they talk about throwing my trash. He promoted it. He liked it. He loved it. I didn't that slump he spoke on me first in a discord server saya dissed me first out of nowhere when i was talking about slime seat though first of all nigo chanel started it with me first when crest started it with me when they stopped liking me and when i started to get clout they started it with me kind of namir no because i was in an interview with say cheese tv said i knew namir namir posted it on his story and said i don't know this why does he want to know me if i wanted to lie about knowing anybody i would say i knew Check. Everybody on Rich and Mary head, look, bruh. That's what they got going on, bruh. Y'all knew what the Now this ain't be talking, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Now this can't be talking, bro. Said Yapo make music for the If you wanna classify little his name Kyle who formed a on their face, you classify them as then yeah. Let's be gonna dance that he wanna act weird cause he be working with Jay. What do you say f me for? Tell me and Dale Stat like. What, what do you say f me for? <laughs> then too. Now he don't want to the beats because he working with a rat. And you see I'm standing no. What do you say f me for? Dev don't even work with me because he don't want to be pulled into sh That's why our tape was canceled. Do I throw a fit about it? No. You give a f about rap? I don't give a f Boy, get up. Mm, let me chill out. Let me calm down. Talking like they got money, but they house don't got thirst. Let's talk gangsta sh we can do that. We can do that. Okay, Drake. Won't you say that everything in that paperwork? Why is you lying? You were scared of that crime, huh? I ain't gonna lie, bro. This didn't get his first gun until he was around me. F you dissing for? Nigga, I've known you for years. You don't talk like that. Bro, what is you dissing for? You is a bitch. You just got your jewelry took. It's like one day he'll talk to me, next day he'll diss me. And then be like, damn, Jace, how come one day you say you cool with him, and the next day you diss and the next day you say you cool with him? Because it Talk to me normal if and go on Instagram, sneak this. Like, what are you talking about? This is not a song he's singing, he freestyling. He said PMO, he said all that. Listen, what you talking about? We ain't no paperwork. I know one gonna ask me. He can't fill that bar, no bad. He can't nod his head at that bar. Hey, look, I only went live to say, I see that y'all say I'm dissing first. They diss me first. You know that. This be first. He want to be opium. He's not opium, man. What are you talk talking about? Like, so now that y'all know about all the beef stuff, I'm gonna go over the situation that changed his life. It's an old video of mine that I took down a long time ago, but yeah. So we all know that Jay's used to have a close relationship with rappers like Summers and Can Can. Now you can't tell me I'm wrong. In 2022, can nobody in the underground tell Jay shit? he was just dropping banger after banger? But it wasn't until like February or March where this. Jason Summers and that whole crew and that whole clique was just hanging around each other every day. And for some reason, I felt like that time period was kind of weird because y'all got to think about it. Jace was never a buddy buddy type of guy. He don't give a. F and then I know it's going to be a lot of n chat saying, well, Summers put him on. There's a lot of rappers that get put on by people, but they don't surround themselves by them every day, bro. I just felt like something was off because Jace is not even the type to make a feature. I was bumping Jace in 2020 where he was just dropping straight singles. It wasn't until March 31st where the Jace just went live and nobody knew what the f happened. And he told everybody in the live that he just got out of jail. And if you already don't know this, there's two things that Jace had mentioned in this live that a lot of people don't know about. First, he got caught with a gun. And second, he mentions the people that got him into the situation. So basically, he was kind of saying he got set up, but he really didn't because they was the that got him in the situation. And three of the that he don't with because of this situation is literally summer tsm bz and summer's little brother say kb and because jace got put on house arrest and he wasn't able to do shit, he wasn't able to go nowhere it wasn't until may 8th where shit just started taking a turn there were some court documents that got released that day on a whole situation majority of the documents were just saying that jace had caught two felonies but you know what everybody wanted to know there's one specific part that could not leave out. A couple of days before the situation even occurred, there was a day where Summers was just laying on his ass and you know he always wants some pills. And the thing is, the plug that Summers had hit up this was kind of weird. And the way how Summers explained it, and what I take from the situation is that the plug didn't know that Summers was an actual underground rapper and he had some clout to his name. And Summers didn't like the way how the plug was handling 
so he hit up Jace to handle it. And when Summers called up Jace, Jace agreed to the situation, but I honestly don't think that Jace was expecting a twist like this. Y'all should already know that Summers chubby on his money bag so jace called up the plug and told him to meet him in front of his apartment it wasn't until march 29th where the whole situation had occurred jace was in his bmw and you had tsm bz with him and you also had ckb with him and it's the thing bro jace tsm bz and ckb didn't have intentions of robbing his until TSMB got a call from Summers. And for some reason Summers got real upset with the plug and Summers not only wanted his money back but he was trying to rob this too and Summers told everybody that they was going to take this money back ass just to make sure that the plug respect them and mind you this whole time jace confused as f he don't really know what's going on but he just following through because he's trying to help his homeboy so eventually the plug ended up pulling up to jace parking lot so jace tsm bz and say kb ended up sitting in the back of the car and them all knowing that the plug is driving a car all this kind of stupid to me because i swear to god i can't see someone doing other this nigga summer's chubby creeps from around the corner summer's emerged from the driver's door and then he strike in his noggin <laughs> And then you had say KB and TSM Beezy trying to look tough. So they all just start hacking his ass, his ass. And Jace was the only one that wasn't fighting. So he ended up grabbing a plug gun that he had in the front seat. And Jace being a nigga, he actually grabbed it because he wanted these to stop fighting. And once they stopped the fight, Jace ended up hopping in his car and everybody else. And they head back to the apartment. And thank God they didn't kill this nigga because this could have been way worse. So by the time that Jace got back to his apartment and the plug and the police was already on it because they already knew that this jace had a bmw he was the only that had one police asap no rocky they pull up to jace apartment they started asking jace questions and they seen that this had a white beanie and y'all probably asking what the the white beanie got to do with it the plug told him that he had a white beanie and a gun and guess what the police found a gun too and the minute 12 seen that gun they threw it right in jail then they hit it with a mean charge some say that he wasn't gonna serve this amount of time but the document was saying that this could serve five years to 99 There's no way they was gonna get this 99 years in a situation that this jason the cops already knew it wasn't his fault jace already blowing up what the f do he need to rob somebody for these already knew he ain't do anything so they hit us with one question we already know that you had nothing to do with the situation if you tell us what happened we'll let you go in a day but since you had a weapon we're putting your ass on house arrest now everybody put their pride aside who the f not taking this deal this jace got a daughter at home he'll be a dumb if he didn't take the deal why the f would he care about a street code your daughter at home and she could never see her dad again just because summer's fat ass wanted some pills everybody underground knew that jace was going up he was supposed to go mainstream it was rumors that he was gonna have some crazy features during this time and all types of stuff but even though that situation happened jace is still one of the most consistent artists in the underground bro it'll be crazy if i went over everything that dropped in 2023 and 2024 but yes he is still relevant there are songs to this day that still pop off and he didn't build such a strong fan base that it's not even bad that he didn't go mainstream like he streams daily on kick and he streams him making music and people love that he didn't build a connection with his fans that a lot of people just can't do because even with that case people felt like jace was supposed to fall off and stuff like that but jace proved this spot and nobody can take that from him and what's crazy about it that case was dropped recently and he just building the core of fan base that he has it don't matter what he say or what he do people just gonna love him either way i know i didn't go over every single thing but but the point of this vid was his backstory it's d-u-t-i-e i'm not sister myself for no bitch don't forget to follow my kick and my ig right now but i love y'all so much y'all stay blessed peace i know i missed a lot of things but like i said this was just a backstory y'all comment let me know if y'all want part two of this video if y'all mess with this video then i'll definitely give y'all part two love y'all